I can never match a birthday gift or Father's Day coming up anniversary gift. I will never come up with a gift as great as the one he's given me. A life-saving gift from his perfect match. This Father's Day weekend, like many families, a Bloomington couple and their kids will spend precious time together. Time that one of the dads used to spend at a clinic getting dialysis. Now he's sharing his story with me to make an impact on the lives of others. I would give anything to him and he would give anything to me. Ray and Steve Naldi are celebrating 19 years of marriage this year. We've always gotten along. We rarely ever fight about anything. Despite him being a Colts fan, I'm a Patriots fan. In 2011, the couple adopted two children. In May of 2021, Steve received some unexpected news that impacted the entire family. And I had a biopsy of my kidney and learned that I had renal failure in progress. Steve's kidney function declined quickly as a result of high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. He progressed to stage 5 kidney disease in May of 2022. He began dialysis three days a week. It takes you away from your family and your children uh, about 15 hours a week. In order to prolong Steve's life, the couple began their search for a new kidney. We knew that my blood type, type O, uh, for an organ donation or for transplant would be six to nine years for a cadaver kidney. And we weren't going to wait and immediately took it into our own hands and began the search for a live donor. Ray instantly knew he wanted to help. I wanted to be the one to donate to him. Last August, news came that would change their lives forever. Not only was Ray a match. It was a perfect, perfect match. match. What are the chances that your spouse uh, could be the perfect match? March 9th of this year marked Steve's last day of dialysis. The next day was transplant day. Well, I already, he already had my heart, so it wasn't a, too big of a journey to give him my kidney. To find that my donor is sitting next to me and by my side for the last 20 years almost um, was just shocking. The couple went into surgery at IU Health University Hospital preparing for the worst. And came out the best. I should have been out of work about 12 weeks and I went back to work part-time in week five. Because of their experience, Ray and Steve are now sharing their journey, hoping to raise awareness. There's currently 90,000 U.S. Uh, residents waiting a kidney. You don't have to do dialysis forever. Transplant's an option, and not only cadaver kidney, you can find your own donor as a live donor. Steve, Ray, and their kids are now getting back to a sense of normalcy. We promised to take the kids on vacation. They're getting a puppy next month from us as well for all their help too over the last two years. Steve says he is forever grateful to Ray for being his perfect match, both in life and when it comes to donating his kidney. I will never come up with a gift as great as the one he's given me. Well, thank you to Steve and Ray for welcoming us in their home. And they mentioned that vacation. I said, where are you guys going? They said, we're going <laughs> to find a beach somewhere to oh. enjoy some time as a family. So, you know, the biggest thing, they really just want to raise awareness to get more people to become organ donors. The gift of life, yes. the gift of hope has no price tag. And to see those two guys just love each other mm -hmm. and then be able to, um, him, him be okay for his family. Yeah. What an amazing gift and a perfect gift on this Father's Day weekend. I love it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the puppy on the way is going to create some work.